Hey guys, happy Wednesday. This is going to be the first of many Wacky Wednesdays to follow. This is not an assignment, but this is something that will give you a little bit of a challenge that you can work on. Um, I'm going to look at a couple things today. Uh, we were going through some of um, the stuff at our house. You know, we had a lot of extra time in our hands. Um, so we're going through all our things, and I saw a couple things that were interesting. This is one of them. Uh, another thing that was interesting were these things right here, these little bottles. This Coca-Cola one looks kind of, it's supposed to be like a two liter bottle and this Pepsi one's a little bit old school. Looks like a lot larger than these two. And then I took a look at these and I'm like, I'm definitely going to make a math problem out of that. I want to find out, even though these don't really have soda in them, if they're filled with soda, how much would each one have in it. Okay? Anyways, happy Wacky Wednesday. Um, I'm going to take this to use as each one represents a unit, okay, whatever that measurement happens to be, all right? Um, what do you guys do when you guys have all this extra time on your hands? Uh, here's one thing that I have with my kids. Um, I play Roblox with my youngest one, um, and I play Fortnite with my second to youngest one, and every once in a while I'll even play a little Creative Destruction. So, at any rate, that's some things that I do. You guys want to check that out. It's a lot of fun. But when I'm doing math, I'm doing math. I just can't help it. And I'm just thinking about these things. I was wondering if these two two liters of Coke, right, not really two liters because they're like so small, uh, would two of these units be as much or more than this Pepsi right here? Now, if um, would it, how in the world would be able to figure that out? Uh, if you guys remember from class when we're trying to compare the volume of a cylinder with the bears that we tried to fit into a skinnier cylinder and a thick and so, thicker cylinder. It's almost like that. So um, when we're looking at this, it's an irregular object. Uh, we can find out how much space it takes up and use displacement, but these float. So I want to find another way to do this. So we're going to use a little bit of our 8th grade standards, which um, is like using our volume for cylinder formula and area of a circle formula to help us out with this. All right, so, and if you guys want to follow, like find your own way to solve this ahead of time, that's fine, but here's what I want to find out. These two and this, I want to compare those. So is it greater than, less than, or equal to? Which one of those is it? These two Coca-Cola units versus this Pepsi unit, all right? We kind of have to get a frame of reference. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of measure, assuming that these are the consistent units, which is graph paper, so they are. All right? We can imagine this would be like the origin. All right, and so try to get the measure as close as possible. And I like to make, like, I notice that it tapers at a certain place. So I know it's specifically, let's see, try to get it as accurate as possible from here all the way to maybe here and I know that I'm missing that part that's fine okay as long as we get the width on there and that width would be right about here Let's see if we got that accurate okay on both sides here it's about right and we know it tapers a little bit here Okay, so we could use this, right, to kind of get an idea of what, how much space it would take up, right? And then we can use um, different strategies to trace the top part of this here. We know it kind of comes up here. We can get a good estimate about how much space it takes up. But then, you know, we got a height on it, you know? But then we also have to think about what it's, um, the circumference is too. The distance around this, okay? That's important as well. And that is very hard to trace. But based on these, let's see if I got this as accurate as possible. And it's actually a little bit thicker like this. You could actually measure from here, get this radius, and you'd have to find the formula to find out if this was a full cylinder. One of these, it would be pi r squared, 
which would be the area of the circle, and then the height, so times the height. That would be the formula. And we would need two of these and see if two of those would compare to one of these, which we would have to trace in comparison. So it comes to about here. The shape's a little bit different is what I've noticed, actually. Um, and kind of like to trace the shape as much as I can, get that height on it. And the width is definitely wider. Let me see here. It comes up so close to this line. I just a scotch under. All right. So we kind of try to do our best here to make this as similar as the other one. From this point right here, and it's symmetrical. Okay, the top of this actually tapers in a little bit more like this and then the cap we kinda have to assume that the cap is working with it as well so getting the volume of this now just looking at the shapes you would think that two of these would definitely be more than one of these okay but we're looking at kind of a, a silhouette of it we're not looking at the actual volume Meaning we need to know what this is versus this, comparing this diameter here, okay, and the circumference. So we need to get that too, see how much space that actually takes up. So this one's Coke, Pepsi would be here, okay. I actually could know if it goes up, takes up that much space right here. That's where the circle would fill up too. Okay, so that would be the comparison of the aerial view of both of these alright so you kinda get an idea for which one of these you know would two of these be more than this okay you're not gonna get an exact answer either way alright but I wanna know what you guys got you can answer in terms of pi you can answer in terms of the exact numbers but however you guys wanna figure this out do your very very best to, um, see what you can do and in the comment section go ahead and let me know what you guys have uh, been doing to keep yourself entertained when you're not doing math all right guys have a great night